This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 20.20.2. User Progress, Grades, and Assignments now feature a new View Inline Feedback link that takes learners directly to the annotations or Turnitin view. This feature implements PI item D5351. Now, in some instances, when you upload a JPEG file in Brightspace Learning Environment, an exchangeable image file, EXIF, data warning appears to inform you when your file may contain geolocation data. To improve cloud environment security, D2L is proactively blocking suspicious requests using a web app firewall. Note, this feature is available to Singapore hosted clients and will roll out globally in future releases. Effective February 2020, Brightspace Widgeo is no longer available to users. Administrators can now reset a course back to an empty shell using Course Reset. Game-based learning has been redesigned to improve the user experience and increase accessibility. Note, game-based learning is available to Engagement Plus and existing Course Adventure Pack clients. In content from the module or submodule you want to add a game map, click Upload Create and select New Game Map. Navigate to Description, enter a map name and a map description. Click Next. Select a background or upload a custom image. Then, click Next. Begin customizing the elements on your map. Then, navigate to Next. Click it. Select from the preset objects to populate your map. Navigate to Next. And click it. Create your learning path. To add another activity, click Add. Click and drag the activity to the desired location. Repeat this process for as many activities as you want to include. To branch paths or connect to the Finish node, click and drag the branching icon to the desired location. Now, add activities to your map. Click a node. Select the activity location and add them to your map. Then, navigate to Activity Details. Here you can change the activity name and add a description. When you are ready, click Next. Your map is ready for publishing. To add it to your course, click Publish. You can now import tab-separated value files into your gradebook. This feature implements PI item D5385. Levels of achievement used to measure progress towards a learning outcome can be mapped to rubric levels. You no longer have to use a percentage score to translate rubric levels to levels of achievement. When creating or editing a rubric, achievement level thresholds display inline. These thresholds identify learners' learning outcome progress based on rubric levels during evaluation. For more information, including the distribution breakdown, review the release notes. You can now add one or more rubrics to portfolio evidence and assess that evidence against the rubric. Learners and parents immediately see instructor feedback, including criteria, level of achievement, and feedback associated to the criteria. You can now access and evaluate learner submissions from QuickEval at the course level. This feature implements PI item D5474. QuickEval at the course level allows you to view and evaluate submissions on a course-by-course -course basis. Here, you can also switch to the org level QuickEval. Click More Actions and select Multi-Course QuickEval. You can now remove items from your QuickEval list until a new submission is received for the activity. This feature implements PI item D5505. From the Quick Eval Activity view, hover over the activity you want to dismiss. Click More Actions and select Dismiss Until. Here, you can dismiss the activity until the next submission, 
a specific date, or forever. In the new quiz builder, questions can be aligned to learning outcomes. When creating or editing a quiz, navigate to Quiz Questions and click Add Edit Questions. Select the question you want to associate an outcome with, then click More Actions and select Align to Standards. Next, select a standard to associate it with the question. Thanks for watching. We are always looking to hear from you about videos you'd like to see. Drop us a comment below, and as always, don't forget to subscribe.